In Thailand, it's often difficult to escape politics. It's dragged onto the streets where protest leaders scream for governments to go. There are media organizations devoted to pumping out propaganda from one side or the other. It's all heavy stuff, and to many, it's becoming increasingly boring. That's why these guys are becoming increasingly popular. Brothers-in-law taking a lighter, satirical look at politics on an internet show called Shallow News in Depth. Political satire is not often seen in Thailand, and the show is attracting hundreds of thousands of online viewers. Right now, it's like uh, a gold mine for us <laughs> to 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 like have uh, materials to put on our shows. Money from advertising is beginning to flow, and the company behind the show says it's making a profit. I never thought so many people would watch it. You know, it's kind of like, oh my God, you know, I'm going to have to start taking responsibility for what I say. Their brand of analysis is being welcomed by some of those who offer a more traditional commentary. Natakon Tewakun believes there needs to be more political satire on TV. Society, you know, needs it. High politics, you know, needs it. You know, the satire helps in critiquing the government in the way that it's sometimes, you know, sarcastic, you know, funny and serious. And indeed, there is a serious side to the hosts of Shallow News In Depth. Like others, they worry where the country is heading. The end game may be very bad. No one knows how it will end, but the situation will escalate until we reach rock bottom. Only then will things improve. In the meantime, they'll continue to shine some light on the often gloomy world of Thai politics by doing things like performing a dance to thank the army chief for not staging a coup. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.